Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial we wrote a python program to print stars in right triangle shape and we wrote that program using nested for loop and in the next tutorial I explained you how we can write that program using nested while loops. Today I will show you how we can write a python program to print stars in the right triangle shape using string multiplications. So this is the program to print stars in right triangle shape using nested for loop and this is the python program to print stars in the right triangle shape using nested while loop. Today we will see how we can print stars in right triangle shape using string multiplication. Before that I will explain you how string multiplication works. When I multiply a string with the integer value it will print that string that many times. For example if I take string as star and if I multiply this with the integer number for example 5 it will print star 5 times. So here we can see it will print star 5 times. So we are using this concept to print stars in the right triangle shape today. So in the program first we need to ask the user to enter the number of row. Okay this is the user input. So we need to ask the user to enter the number of row and we will store that result in the variable n. Next here to print the stars in the right triangle shape we need at least one loop. Here I will take for loop that is the loop to print stars in the different row. We are using the string multiplication to print the stars in the different columns. But to print stars in the different row we need a loop. So here I am using for loop ok so for i in range n so I will use the same range that is 0 to n. Next I will remove this. So instead of that for loop that is the for loop to print stars in the different column I will use the string multiplication. So here what I will do is I will take print. Next I want to print stars right so I will take star multiplication symbol. Next I need to mention the integer value or how many times I need to print stars in each row. In our uh, pattern in the first row that is 0th row we need 1 star at row 1 we need 2 star at row 2 we need 3 star like that right. So that is nothing but i plus 1 star here i is nothing but row. So when i is 0 we need 1 star that is nothing but i plus 1 star. So here I will take i plus 1 star. Next no need to take end parameter also no need to take this print function. Here we don't need end parameter because here we are printing this star in a single iteration that is nothing but when i is 0 here we can see star multiply i plus 1 so print star one time. When i is equal to 1 so i plus 1 it will become 2 print star twice. When i is equal to 2 print star thrice so it will print star at a time so that's why no need to use end as well as the print function ok. So now if I save this and run this. So enter the number of row I will enter 5 and here we can see the result. If you want space between each star here you can give a space and if I execute this now here we can see. So here what will happen is first it will ask the user to enter the number of row. If I enter number of row as 4 n value become 4 right next for i in range n. So for i in range n range will be from 0 to n. So 0 to 4 i initially become 0 so that is the first row it will print star i plus 1 time that is nothing but it will print a single star again control will go to the for loop now i becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so it will print star twice so here we can see 2 star again control will go to the for loop i becomes 2 it will print 3 stars next again control will go to here for i in range n so i becomes 3 so it will print 4 star. Next again control will go to the for loop but, but here range is over so it will come out of the loop and it will stop the execution of the program right. In this way this program works. So this is about this program. So that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class till then take care.